Hi, I'm K.O. Did That, um, but you can call me K.O. I am a Chicago-based photographer and videographer. I've been doing photo and video for around seven years now. When I first started, I really just used to like engineer sessions. I just have the camera. I was like, hey, 50 bucks to get some photos in the studio. And it kind of just like started getting, uh, developing from that. I started really coming to the city heavily about four to five years ago. I ended up starting to do hosting um, events and concerts, small underground rap shows, you know, photo shoots out there. Most of my clientele was always in the city. Got to the point where I have my own studio in Chicago. Um, most of my clientele base is in Chicago. Um, and just having that already pre-established it makes it easier to operate as a freelance creative um, doing it full time because I don't have to worry about accumulating new clientele or finding a spot. Chicago is very good for the artists. We build some of the greatest artists, whether it's fashion designers, um, musical artists, or um, composers, you know, digital artists, um, mixed medium artists. We have some of the most, probably the most creative, talented city in America. If you look at the drill movement, Chief Keith made I Don't Like or uh, what was it, 300? In that video style, you know, really, you know, low grade, big group of people, everyone's in the trap, you know, doing a quick video. That became the blueprint for every music video in that style until now. You know, now we have drill artists in Italy making exactly how Chicago drill videos look. So we are on the tip of the spear for culture. It's just the infrastructure is not here, especially from the music side. We don't have a major label in Chicago. We don't have um, like a lot of infrastructure. When I was in LA, I was in LA for like three or four months at the beginning of the year. The places you can book to shoot in or shoot video or photo, there's like a million studios out there. You know, you can get a rain room or you can get a sound stage and you can get it on pure space really quick. And Chicago has that, but it's not readily available. There's like a handful of spots in Chicago, but there's hundreds of spots in LA. Just having the ability to connect with that infrastructure and start building more of a network that sprouts out of Chicago is my ultimate goal. But it's always gonna be whatever I build somewhere else, I wanna take, bring it back home. You know, I wanna always bring it back to Chicago because without Chicago, to be honest, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now. For my first like two years of shooting, it was really just, I didn't do portraits. Now I'm kind of like solely a portrait photographer, but I was doing landscape just because I walk around and I just want to take photos. I don't even know what really sparked that interest. More just because people told me like, hey, yeah, you're pretty good at taking phone, photos with the iPhone. So why don't you actually try to do it more professionally? And it just kind of built from that. The one thing that always stuck with me throughout the entirety of me doing photos, which was uh, photography is just the way light interacts with your subject. It's all it is. And that was kind of like my tagline whenever I was trying to study photography. I was like, okay, I need to understand lighting, you know, just to get the correct photo and the correct readout for everything. Um, and just learning, because lighting is, you know, right now we have constant light, but we could also be doing strobe, daylight reflectors, you know, different things. You know, you have your, if you have a strobe light, you know, which is the big flash, you can put different boxes, a dome, a snoot, which gives you a spotlight, just a million things. So, you know, it may seem like a simple thing, but that changed how I viewed everything. Cause I was really just trying to set the camera up to make it look good. I wasn't thinking like, well, if I have them turn their face this way, it will create more shadow or give more dramatic style to the photo. You know, whenever I teach my interns or any photographer who needs assistance, I just begin it with that. Photography is just the way light interacts with the subject. You know what I mean? And just understanding that will open all the possibilities to be more of a creative photographer. I like when people give me creative direction because I know what I know what I'm doing a little bit more than the average person who books me would do. But it depends what kind of shoot I'm doing. If I'm doing commercial work for like a, a clothing brand, fashion is really stylized in one way. Um, if and a lot of times, I, what I'll do is if I'm doing commercial work, they're product photos, so they're going to be put on the website to show off the product. So I can't shoot that creatively. I have to, you know, make it bright, make the product look good, make sure the color remains the same depending on how harsh the light is, and just make sure the model is doing the best way to like um, present the item. Like if it's a hoodie, I want them their hands in their pockets in a couple shots, so that you can see that the the pockets are on the hoodie. Or if there's something on the back, I want them to turn around and show off the back a little bit more. But I get a little bit less creative control over that. And sometimes I have clients. I always ask. I whenever you book me, I always ask, Do you have an idea already? because I can help you create that idea. But if people come to me like, I don't know what I want to do. But it's like, I know what I want to do, so we're going to do what I want to do. Before COVID, I'd say three years ago, I was I really started doing live shows a lot. Because being the photographer at shows, I was shooting like 
artists I'd listen to. Like I did John Doe, uh, Saba, uh, I did Pivot Gang, Samino, who else? I did, well, I think I did some quick stuff with Ray Bruno doing a show. Just a bunch of artists that I was like really accentuated with. And I started realizing like, like wow, I just started looking and I was like, oh, so this photo, because I was never really self-actualized. As I started realizing, you know, like getting some of these opportunities and more and more people would start knowing what I was doing. Or I'd see on like posts on, they'd be like, who shot this, this amazing photo, you know, different things like that. I was like, oh, I'm actually, I actually know what I'm doing more than, you know, any other photographer. It's hard. <laughs> It's extremely hard. Um, it's really, you get enjoyment. There's, there's positives, many positives out of it, but you have to, I will be honest, since I've been doing this full time and even like two or three years before I was doing this, you kind of lose being a normal person in, in a sense. Kind of, you end up being like, hey, you wanna go to the bar? Nah, man, someone booked me from five days in the studio. I can't even go and then I gotta edit tonight. You know what I mean? Just countless times. You wanna go to a party? Nah, I gotta edit, bro. I got a deadline on Wednesday and they, they're they just on my ass and I just, I gotta sit on the computer until two in the morning, you know? You have to prepare yourself for that. And if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to subjugate yourself to do that. But if you wanna make a living off of this, you have to sacrifice, There's, you have to, be willing to sacrifice your time, your sanity, you know, your your comfort area, your comfort zone to step out of that, you know. You're gonna go through a very long period of working for free just to get your name out there to the point where you can be like, well, what I did for that person, I'm not gonna tell you I, they didn't pay me, but I can charge you now because you're approaching me, you know. But, you know, when you're first starting out, they're not gonna give you opportunities. You're gonna have to go out and find those, you know what I mean? Um, even if you shoot for free, if I do an event for free, you have to get something out of that because you're not gonna get paid out of it. So you have to make sure, you know, your content's really good. You gotta make sure everything's punctual when you're shooting, be on time to the event. Get there a half hour before, not a half hour after. Get the photos sent when they want the photos. Don't have them begging you for the photos. That makes you look bad. They won't hire you down the line. When you're at the event itself, talk to the artists. Fuck that, don't even talk to the artists. Talk to the managers because those are the people with the money for the artist. The artist doesn't book anything, the manager will book that. Talk to the event promoter, because the event promoter most likely hosts other events. He might need a photographer for those events. Um, but you have to do that, because the one thing about being a photographer is you have to be social. 